Two Witches by Robert Frost. One, the Witch of Coos. I stayed the night for shelter at a farm behind the mountain with a mother and son, two old believers. They did all the talking. Mother, folks think a witch who has familiar spirits she could call up to pass a winter evening, but won't, should be burned at the stake or something. Summoning spirits isn't button, button, who's got the button? I would have them know. Son, mother can make a common table rear and kick with two legs like an army mule. Mother, and when I've done it, what good have I done? Rather than tip a table for you, let me tell you what, tell you what Raleigh, the Sioux Control, once told me. He said the dead had souls, but when I asked him how could that be, I thought the dead were souls. He broke my trance. Don't that make you suspicious that there's something the dead are keeping back? Yes, there's something the dead are keeping back. Son, you wouldn't want to tell him what we have up attic, mother. Mother. Bones, a skeleton. Son. But the headboard of mother's bed is pushed against the attic door. The door is nailed. It's harmless. Mother hears it in the night halting perplexed behind the barrier of door and headboard. Where it wants to get is back into the cellar where it came from. Mother. We'll never let them, will we, son? We'll never. Son. It left the cellar forty years ago and carried itself like a pile of dishes up one flight from the cellar to the kitchen. Another from the kitchen to the bedroom, another from the bedroom to the attic, Right past both father and mother, and neither stopped it. Father had gone upstairs. Mother was downstairs. I was a baby. I don't know where I was. Mother. The only fault my husband found with me, I went to sleep before I went to bed, especially in winter when the bed might just as well be ice and the clothes snow. The night the bones came up the cellar stairs, Tophile had gone to bed alone and left me and pushed the headboard of the bed against it. Then we asked, was there anything up attic that we'd ever want again? The attic was less to us than the cellar. If the bones liked the attic, let them have it. Let them stay in the attic. When they sometimes come down the stairs at night and stand perplexed behind the door and headboard of the bed, brushing their chalky skull with chalky fingers, with sounds like the dry rattling of a shutter, that's what I sit up in the dark to say to no one any more since Tophile died. Let them stay in the attic since they were there. I promised Tophile to be cruel to them, for helping them be cruel once to him. Son, we think they had a grave down in the cellar. Mother, we know they had a grave down in the cellar. Son, we never could find out whose bones they were. Mother, yes, we could too, son. Tell the truth for once. They were a man's his father killed for me. I mean, a man he killed instead of me. The least I could do was help dig their grave. We were about it one night in the cellar. Son knows the story, but was not for him to tell the truth. Suppose the time had come. Son looked surprised to see me end a lie. We'd kept up all these years between ourselves so as to have it ready for outsiders. But tonight I don't care enough to lie. I don't remember why I ever cared. Tophile, if he were here, I don't believe, could tell you why he ever cared himself. She hadn't found the finger bone she wanted among the buttons poured out in her lap. I verified the name next morning, Tophile. The rural letter box said Tophile Lodgeway. Two. The Pauper Witch of Grafton. Now that they've got it settled, whose I be, I'm going to tell them something they won't like. They've got it settled wrong, and I can prove it. Flattered I must be to have two towns fighting, to make a present of me to each other. They don't dispose me, either one of them, to spare them any trouble. Double troubles, always the witch's motto anyway. I'll double theirs for both of them. You watch me. They'll find they've got the whole thing to do over. That is, if facts is what they want to go by, they set a lot, now don't they, by a record of Arthur Amy's having once been up for Hog Reeve in March meeting here in Warren. 
I could have told him any time this twelve-month the Arthur Amy I was married to couldn't have been the one they say was up in Warren at March meeting, for the reason he weren't but fifteen at the time, they say. The Arthur Amy I was married to voted the only times he ever voted, which wasn't many in the town of Wentworth. One of the times was when twas in the warrant to see if the town wanted to take over the tote road to our clearing where we lived. I'll tell you who'd remember, Herman Lapish. Their Arthur Amy was the father of mine. So now they've dragged it through the law courts once. I guess they'd better drag it through again. Wentworth and Warren's both good towns to live in, only I happen to prefer to live in Wentworth from now on. And when all's said, right's right, and the temptation to do right, when I can hurt someone by doing it has always been too much for me. It has, I know, of some folks that would be set up at having in their town a noted witch. But most would have to think of the expense that even I would be. They ought to know that as a witch I'd often milk a bat, and that'd be enough to last for days. It'd make my position stronger, think, if I was to consent to give some sign to make it sure that I was a witch. It weren't no sign, I suppose, when Malice Hughes said that I took him out in his old age and rode all over everything on him, until I'd had him worn to skin and bones, and if I'd left him hitched unblanketed in front of one town hall, I'd left him hitched in front of every one in Grafton County. Some cried shame on me not to blanket him, the poor old man. It would have been all right if someone hadn't said to gnaw the posts. He stood beside and leave his trademark on them so they could recognize them. Not a post that they could hear tell of was scarified. They made him keep on gnawing till he whined. Then that same smarty someone said to look. He bet Hughes was a cribber and had gnawed the crib he slept in. And as sure as you're born, they found he'd gnawed the four posts of his bed. All four of them to splinters. What did that prove? Not that he hadn't gnawed the hitching posts. He said he had, besides. Because a horse gnaws in the stable ain't no proof to me. He don't gnaw trees and posts and fences, too. But everybody took it for a proof. I was a strapping girl of twenty then. The smarty someone who spoiled everything was Arthur Amy. You know who he was. That was the way he started courting me. He never said much after we were married, but I mistrusted he was none too proud of having interfered in the Hughes business. I guess he found he got more out of me by having me a witch. Or something happened to turn him round. He got to saying things to undo what he'd done and make it right, like, No, she ain't come back from kit kiting yet. Last night was one of her nights out. She's kiting. She thinks when the wind makes a night of it, she might as well herself. But he liked best to let on he was plagued to death with me. If anyone had seen me coming home over the ridge pole stride of a broomstick as often as he had in the tail of the night, he guessed they'd know what he had to put up with. Well, I showed Arthur Amy signs enough off from the house as far as we could keep and from barn smells you can't wash out of plowed ground with all the rain and snow of seven years. And I don't mean just skulls of Rogers' as rangers, or Musalauk. But woman signs to man, only bewitched so I would last him longer. Up where the trees grow short, the moss is tall, I made him gather me wet snowberries on slippery rocks beside a waterfall. I made him do it for me in the dark, and he liked everything I made him do. I hope if he is where he sees me now, he's so far off, he can't see what I've come to. You can come down from everything to nothing. All is, if I'd have known when I was young and full of it that this would be the end. It doesn't seem as if I'd had the courage to make so free and kick up in folks' faces. I might have, but it doesn't seem as if. End of Two Witches by Robert Frost